Lyman, Schlussel. Here's the Schlutaus. Uh, Anton, Emil, Frist, Gottfried. No Erica. No Erica? Mm. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Well, let's go, huh? Got to write my mother a letter. I could have sworn. <gasps> Captain Pringle. It's Erica von Schluto. Von. It's under Von. Oh, no. Why, that, that's silly. Like O'Brien. You wouldn't look under B. You'd look under O. All right. Let's look under O. <laughs> under V. Must be here. Von Resnicek, von Rudesheim. Did it ever occur to you that there might be some extenuating circumstances? This man is making a mockery of his country's uniform. Von Salm, von Salzburg. Suppose you stop playing detective and ask yourself why he skidded off the road. Von Sandberg, why? I'll tell you. No moral break. Sure, he's going too fast. Only during the war he couldn't go fast enough. Get on that beachhead, get through those tank traps, speed, lots of it. Then the war is over, and you expect him to ram on those brakes and stop like that. Yes, Captain Pringle, just like that. Well, maybe, maybe he needs a little affection. Or would you know about that, Congresswoman Frost? Yes, I know about that. It might interest you to know that I was in love once. Oh, not really. He was a Southern Democrat. <laughs> One night he drove me home and he put his arms around me and he said he yearned for my lips. And then he did a terrible thing. What? He tried to sway my vote. <laughs> Uh, what did you do? I did what any decent American girl would do. I filibustered. Filibustered? I just kept talking. Poems and things. You know, the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Oh. I got through it twice. He was disillusioned and I was very hoarse. <laughs> well, we still haven't found her file. Von Schloss, Von Schlotzing. And I bet you haven't been kissed since. None of your business. Von Schulman, Von... Von Schluto. Carl Donner... Ah, if it's here, it should be this next envelope. Congresswoman. Mm -hmm. Huh? Close that file. What? What are you doing? That Southern Democrat isn't the only guy who's yearned for those lips. Captain Pringle, keep away, don't... Why? You're no Nazi. Since when has it been subversive to kiss a Republican? <laughs> I'm a congresswoman. You're a lovely woman, and you're going to be kissed. Listen, listen... Listen, my children, and you shall Forget hear... Forget children. <laughs> Forget children. Think about men. The midnight ride of Paul Revere. Congresswoman, darling, I'm asking for the floor. Oh, oh. On the 18th of April in 75... I demand the floor. Hardly a man is now allowed... Hmm. <laughs> You're entirely out of order. Objection overruled. Oh, John... Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. I know where there's a beam of moonlight with your name on it. But the file... Bright moonlight or dusty old files? Which will it be? Oh, moonlight, John, moonlight. Oh, hurry, darling. The hours are running out, and I want to spend every magic moment with you. Hi. What has my Kleiner Liebling been doing? Your Kleiner Liebling has been making charm with the bloodhound. The congresswoman? Yep. We're engaged. Engaged? Yep. We sat and held hands and whistled Shine On Harvest Moon. <laughs> well, it's better than having my head chopped off. <laughs> I didn't know you were in that deep. What deep? How deep? Why didn't you tell me about you and Hans Otto Birgel? He's dead. You and that fear of yours, kissing your hand, the little jerk. Don't talk like that. Why not? How much of a Nazi were you, anyway? Johnny, don't be cross. 
I love you very much. Now, isn't that nice? I want to go to America with you. I want to climb the Statue of Liberty. You want to get down in that basement at Fort Knox? <laughs> Johnny, I've got some vodka, and I had the phonograph stick. Sorry, I got a date. Date? With my fiance. I have to keep the stars in her eyes until she leaves tomorrow. But you'll come tomorrow night, Johnny. Yeah, I guess so. So long, now. Why did, you, why did you insist on coming to the Lorelei? Oh, Johnny, it's our last night. I wanted to have some fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know whether it's the champagne, but I'm absolutely dizzy with happiness. Before, I was just drifting on the gray sea all alone. And then out of nowhere comes the boat. So unexpected, all white sails on the horizon. To you, my beautiful boat. Oh, cut it out, Someday you might find out I'm... I'm not so beautiful. Oh, look, it's Miss Van Schluto. May I join you? No! Oh, now, don't be rude, Johnny. Thank you. Have you made any progress tracking down that man? What man? My man. Oh, a little progress. But I don't care very much about your man because of my man. Isn't he beautiful? More champagne, darling. Oh, Phoebe, please. When are you leaving Berlin, Miss Frost? Tomorrow night. This is our last night together. What a shame. He'll be so lonely without you. No, he won't. He'll think about me. About his little Phoebe, won't you? Oh, sure I will. <laughs> poor, poor boy. Hey, Prince. Johnny. Lee, what are you doing here? Colonel Plummer's yelling for you. Well, John, I don't want you to go. What does he want? I don't know, but you better get to his office before he pops his buttons. Oh, of all the times... Come on, Phoebe. I shall be very pleased to take care of Miss Frost. Oh, I'd better take her home. Go on, get going. She'll be all right. Oh, oh, oh thanks, Lee. <laughs> Captain Pringle reporting, sir. Don't point that lipstick at me. <laughs> yes, sir. Now listen, Passion Flower. <laughs> I'm going to blow the whistle on you. Yes, sir. Pringle, I honestly think you have as good a war record as any man in this town. You've been on the first team ever since Normandy. And I know you were among the first ten men across the Remagen Bridge. I also know why you were in such a hurry. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a long story, sir. So is this Erica von Schluto. Captain Pringle, we've been wise to you and her all along. Sir, you peaked. <laughs> We also know that you've been playing a double bill with a lady from Iowa. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave her out of this. Oh, you would, huh? Captain, you're to stay away from that certain party. Strictly off limits, you understand? Oh, sure. That was over anyway. Climbing those stairs was beginning to get me. <laughs> now, just a minute, get it straight. You're to stay away from the congresswoman. What, Phoebe? Oh, but, but why? Because you're going to pick up the torch for Fräulein von Schluto and lug it again. Lug it in public. Well, what do you know? Did you ever hear of Hans Otto Burgel? Sure. Erica's Nazi boyfriend. He's dead. He's dead nothing. He's very much alive. And thanks to you, he's kicking. What have I got to do with it? Plenty. Someone tipped him off that his girl has been seen around with an American officer. Well, what about it? That only... Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm happy to say that he's just about due to come out and kill you both. That's cute. A shotgun wedding. Now go on back and fan those flames, Romeo. 
stick around the frow line until Burgle shows up. Our men will see that you have adequate protection. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. Why did I ever join the army? <laughs> Thank you.